If you're new to Adobe Premiere Pro and have absolutely no idea on where to get started, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to create a project and create a sequence that you can start editing your video in. So let's get into it. So once you've just opened up Adobe Premiere Pro, you should be greeted with this menu. And this is the first menu that you will see in Premiere. So you've got all of your recent projects down here. And then you've also got your new project and open project on the left. You also have the option to open a Premiere Rush project, but we'll ignore that for now. So if you're brand new to Adobe Premiere Pro, then I'm assuming you don't have an existing project. So we'll ignore the open project button and we'll go to new project. So this is gonna load up the first project window. So we've got the name. So this is gonna be the name of your project, obviously. So we'll rename this to video. Next, we've got location, and this is gonna be where that project file is going to sit on your computer. Now, I've got it set to the desktop at the moment, but of course you can change it if you like. Moving now, we've got general, and this is video rendering and playback. And you only really need to look at this if you've got a graphics card on your computer. If you don't, then it will probably be set to Mercury Playback Engine software only. And this basically just means that the computer is going to use this software to encode and read your footage. But if you've got a graphics card, then you can select which graphics card you want to read and analyze your footage from. And having a graphics card will obviously make your life easier because the footage will be read faster. But don't worry too much about that for now. Moving now, we've got video and we want to select the display format to timecode, the audio to audio samples, and the capture format to DV. And then once you're happy with that, we can just press OK and move on into Premiere. So this is Premiere, but we haven't got a sequence created and we need a sequence before we can start editing our footage. So we'll go into File, New, Sequence. And this is the new sequence window. Now, by default, you'll see all of these presets here. We've got ARRI presets, AVC Intra, AVC HD, DV PAL. But the problem is, if you're a beginner, all of this is just really confusing. And yeah, you don't, you don't need this. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make our own preset by going over into Settings. Now, the first tab is Editing Mode. You want to set this to Custom. Now, the time base is the frame rate of your project. So typically, if you're in the UK, you want to set this to 25 frames per second. If you're in the US and you're doing something cinematic, you can select 23.976 or you can select 30 because 30 is typically the frame rate of TV in the USA. But I would naturally go for 25 frames a second. Next up is the frame size. And if you're doing 1080p HD, that standard HD, then you want to select 1920 by 1080. Moving now, you want to select square pixels on the pixel aspect ratio, fields, no fields, progressive scan. Display format, we're going to select 25 frames per second time code. Moving now to audio, we'll just set this to 48,000 hertz. Display format, audio samples again. iframe only MPEG, width 1920, height 1080. If you want to see your video previews in the highest possible quality, then you can select maximum bit depth and maximum render quality. But I naturally keep these deselected because this can slow down your editing program. And then of course, we've got the sequence name. So what is the name of this project? So we we'll call it video, video two. And if you wanted to save this preset and use this preset in a future project, just select save preset and we can call this custom. Okay, and then when it loads up the sequence presets tab again, it should load up your custom made preset at the very bottom. So you just select custom and press OK. And there you go. From this point, you can now start dropping your footage into Premiere and start editing all of your footage. So that is how you make a sequence right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video, hopefully. See you there.